this here I think is one of the coolest things in the entire museum. You've heard of bear traps for catching bears or rabbit trap. These traps were for catching men. Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly. I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs, and today I'm at the Natural. Uh, in today's episode, I'm here at the National Museum of Ireland, Country Life in Castlebar, Mayo, and I'm here as part of my ICANN course. The ICANN course is the Irish Community Archives Network, and I mentioned the ICANN course a while ago back in a video that you can see up here. The ICANN course basically is we have the opportunity to research some ideas and enter them into the uh, National Archive in Ireland. So that's why we're here today. They put us on a bus. They fed us. They paid for everything. I'm here to have a look around, see how we lived in all Ireland, see how the rich lived, see how the poor lived, and just give you a better idea of Ireland in general. So yeah, let's have a look inside. So this is Turlock Park House, and this was built in around 1865 by the Fitzgeralds. They were a wealthy family of landowners. At its maximum size, the estate was about 8,500 acres. And you can see this is like a really good example of how the wealthy used to live. You can see they have a massive library. And all the stained glass, fancy chandeliers and things like that. All the elaborate furniture and chinaware. And this is really how a wealthy family would have lived back in Ireland, back in the day. This is a, a half piano, half harpsichord. It's, it's, a, it's called the Lyra chord. It's the only one of its kind in the world. There's a barrier here and I just want to go over and play it and just do -do 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 -do. But uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So this is how the typical woman of the time dressed. It's very, it looks, to me, it looks kind of fancy, but I don't know if it actually is. And this is how the guys dressed. So you have the hat, jackets. And this guy has a hole in his pants, but I guess different times. These are pairs of old shoes from the 20th century from the Iron Islands. It's really just very basic. I mean, it's a piece of leather with some laces that you put over your foot. That's as advanced as it was back then. And one of the guys just pointed this out. This is a picture of, Queen, of a statue of Queen Victoria being removed from Leinster House. And he said that there's another photo of the lorry driving away. And in the crowd, there's a picture of a man holding up a five pound note. The significance of that was that when Ireland asked for relief during the famine, all Queen Victoria sent was a five pound note. So it's never been confirmed. It's, n it's Nobody knows if it's actually true, but I like to think that it is. That guy was like sticking it to the man and he was kind of trying to make a, a statement. If, if it is true, send them five pounds of help. I mean, come on. Here's an example of the thatched roofs that they used to have here in cottages. You can see the way they were inter interwoven and they'd have to replace these every once in a while, but I mean, this is how people stayed warm. This this saved many people's lives back in the day. You can just see the level of level of artistry and intricacy and just like the skill that went into making something like this. It looks so cool, but like almost impossible to make. 
I wonder how comfortable that baby was. And this kitchen is from an exhibit here called Kitchen Power and they say that this kitchen is actually called the Marriage Breaker because back in 1956 ESB started driving around the country uh, displaying these kitchens and of course all the mothers started seeing these kitchens and started getting ideas of uh, this is what I want and this is the future and then of course husbands didn't like it and that's why it became the Marriage Breaker. So yeah, I actually think this is a really cool looking kitchen even from like 1950s point of view. Kitchen I think still stands up today and it's really really cool. I'm gonna go downstairs now and look at the rest of the stuff from the kitchen power so let's go this is the rest of the kitchen power exhibit just look at these it's like I'm stepping back into the 50s this is so cool I'm back in time <laughs> it's like walking into a 1950s showroom Happy as the bride. Yeah, I'm sure she is. How sexist is that? So back in the day, it was the ESB that started promoting all these things because people needed the electricity to power the appliances. And of course, ESB started pushing it. And because of that, Ireland started to kind of boom in a, in a way that nobody really expected. You can see here, the thing that people could afford the most was irons because they were the cheapest. And then you have kettles, hoovers, fridges, and all the more expensive things that belong. So even though people wanted those appliances, they couldn't actually afford them. All they could afford was irons. And this kind of kicked off Ireland in a different way. I'm not sure if that was a good thing or a bad thing. Surely on one side it's good because like we have a better quality of life, but on another side it was just mass consumerism and mass production. And so was this actually something positive to begin with? And now it's kind of turned negative because obviously consumerism, mass production, that's kind of destroying the world right now. So so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tricky one. And this here, I think, is one of the coolest things in the entire museum. It's called a man trap. And this was used by wealthy landlords to keep poachers off their land. Like, this is crazy. You've heard of bear traps for catching bears or rabbit traps. These traps were for catching men, like specifically to catch a human being in them. This is insane. Okay, so a guy just came up to me and told me that I'm not allowed to record video in here. <laughs> so now I don't know if uh, now I don't know if I'm actually able to record anymore here. So I'm just going to record as fast as I can and go. Okay, it's three o'clock and my group is just about to leave. I totally got distracted. I really hope they're not gone. And there's also Victorian gardens here, but because I'm running back to the bus. That's them. I'll see you another time. Okay, they're still there. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's just about to leave. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's probably a short video because that's literally it. That's all I can film. So it was a great day out at Thurlock House, it really, really was. If you're in Castle Bar and you have the opportunity to visit, you really should because there's a lot of really cool exhibits there. And I just want to say thanks to everybody that organized it. I mean, they gave us a free bus, free food, they gave us awesome tours, and it was just really, really nice. So thanks to everybody who planned it. I'm not 100% not sure exactly, but uh, thanks if you're watching. So I'm here editing the video and I'm not 100% sure if I can actually show this because the guy in there said you're not allowed to record in here so I'm not 100% sure if I put up this video if it's going to get taken down if they're going to contact me and say please take this down because we told you not to record so fingers crossed thanks a lot for watching I really hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to my channel consider subscribing if you like my videos and yeah I'll see you all again next Friday with another video bye